chapter 25, open stack physics, problem number 20, 20 27. Okay, so I, I, I picked this one and it looked interesting and then I started to look at it and I don't really actually know exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're kind of working through this together and that makes it more realistic and more fun. So the problem shows this diagram right here. There's a block of material and they say it's crown glass. I looked up the index of refraction 1.52. I assume that's air, I'm gonna use one. And it says light comes in and this side and it's gonna be reflected in, it's, it's gonna to be totally internally reflected. And it says for any angle. So let's, let's figure that out. Okay, so the first question that we need to think about is what is total internal reflection? So if I have some material in two here, in one right there, and then I have, I'm gonna draw my light ray coming in right here, I'll call it theta three. Uh, and if theta three is going to have some light coming out this way it's going to be refracted and that's going to be let's call that theta four okay so snell's law says that n2 sine theta three is n1 sine theta four and so that looks weird because i'm trying to use the angles that i use the match up here normally you do n2 theta two n1 theta one but you get it right you get it if it is totally, the critical angle is the angle that this refracted ray up here is 90 degrees. So the sine of 90 is, so I want theta four to be 90. I'm gonna find the critical angle. So this is gonna be a one, right? The sine of 90 is one. And then I wanna find theta three. So the sine of, and I'm gonna call it theta C for the critical angle. It's gonna be equal to uh, N one over N two. So theta C is going to be the inverse of N1 over N2, which is going to be the inverse, sine inverse of 1 over 1.52. Let's just get that angle. I don't think we need it, but let's just get that angle. So I'm going to put it in my calculator here. 1, 1.52 divided by inverse sine, 41.13. Degrees. I have my calculator in degrees. So I'm gonna put that over here. Theta C is 41.1, no, 41.13 degrees. Okay, so now let's just find, let's just start working through the problem. Okay, so now that I know that, let's say I have theta one, it's some angle. This is any angle, then let's solve for theta two. So I can say Snell's law, let's put it up here, N1 sine theta one is N2 sine theta two. I want to find theta two. So theta two uh, sine, I can write it like this, sine of theta two is N1 sine theta one over N2. N1 over N2 is just a number, right? Um, and then I can take the, I can find theta two Theta two is gonna be uh, the inverse sine of, and N one is just one. So it's sine of theta one over N two. Is there like a, there's probably a trig identity there, but that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it like that. Now, notice here, the key thing is that this interface is perpendicular to that one. So these form a right triangle. So this is a right triangle. So whatever theta two is, theta three is gonna be uh, 90 minus theta two. And you could use radians if you want. I'm just using degrees because my calculator is in degrees. So there's that. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just say I come in at an 89 degree angle. Let's just pick theta one is 89 degrees. So I can solve for theta two and I can solve for theta three. So let's solve for theta three. Theta three would be 90 minus the inverse sine of the sine of 89 over 1.52. Let's just plug in our calculator, see what happens. If this video goes super terribly wrong, you'll never see it. 
So I'm not afraid. I'll just delete it. Right? I can do that. Which you shouldn't do on a test. You can't delete your test problem. But 90, enter. Now I'm going to do this. 89 sine. And I'm going to divide that by 1.52 divided by. I'm going to take the inverse sine. And then I'm going to subtract that. And I get 48. 48.86 degrees. Okay, so at that giant angle, 89 degrees, which is anything greater, it's not going to even enter the block. I get theta 3 is 48.3. And remember, the critical angle is 41.3. So anything greater than that is going to reflect back in. At 41.3, it reflects right along that way. So if I'm at a greater angle, it's going to reflect down. Well, let's try a very low angle. Let's try theta is equal to um, 1 degree. Well, 1 degree is going to, well, that's fine. Let's do it anyway. 1 degree. This is do it. OK. Well, we're doing the two extremes just to check. OK, so I have 90, enter, and then I have the sine of 1 and then 1.52 divided by, and then the inverse sine, and then subtract that from 90, and I get 89. Again, I don't know if you're aware, but that's greater than the critical angle. So, I mean, I did from 1 to 89 degrees. If I do 0 degrees, it's going to be internally reflected because it's never going to hit the wall. If I do 90 degrees, it's not going to go in. So, I think I covered the full basis. I'm pretty happy. There's probably a trig identity you can do over here, but I'm, I don't really remember my trig identity. So that's that. The end of the problem. I win. And I got chalk on me. Look at that.